back. Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Tillamook, Oregon to Klamath Falls, Oregon. I'm flying a Cessna Citation Longitude jet. I just switched to this jet recently. I had been flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i turboprop for quite a long time, which I really like, but I felt like it was time to upgrade, get something faster, something dip more difficult to fly. Actually, this is actually really easy to fly. So let's go ahead and take off. Go back inside, take off the parking brake. And let's get going. Need to back away a little bit so I can see my instruments. Impressed with how straight we are going down the runway. I'm going to go ahead and lift off. I think I got that stall message because I pulled up just a little bit too high. Make sure the flaps are up. And we'll start gaining some speed. Let's take a quick peek outside. Set the view. Portland approach KA five zero three. Landing gear up. C seven hundred two miles southeast of Kilo Tango, Mike Kilo six hundred feet. The beautiful airplane. It's got a brand new Garmin G five thousand system. I think it's very sophisticated. I found the plane to be very easy to fly. I thought it would be difficult um, landing. Takes some getting used to, but I think it's typical probably but I haven't had any trouble flying the plane so far. Okay, I don't see any of my instruments. It's because I didn't turn any of them on. So we'll get those so going. It's kind of silly. I mean, they were on before. And I guess they uh, turned off for some reason. Okay, I'm going to set a flight level of 8,000. Good job on the VHF interference on the radio there. It sounded really realistic. Okay, I've set flight level 8,000. Autopilot on. That should take over, get us on course, get us up to 8,000 feet. Let's go ahead and look around outside. It's beautiful out here. It's kind of a cloudy day of course, but nevertheless Oregon is a beautiful area. It does really look this dark green. I thought the red airplane would be a nice contrast against all the green, especially heading into this time of year. It's amazingly quiet outside the plane compared to the turboprop. Nice seeing the sun in the picture there. Okay, we're approaching the speed limit, so I'm going to start pulling back on the throttle a bit. We're also approaching our altitude. We'll begin to speed up again once we level off. Seems like a really, really beautiful plane. I was very nervous about switching to a jet. I've had trouble flying them in the past. The Citation, what is it? CJ4, or whatever, I can't remember the exact name. Um, I really didn't like the glass cockpit at all, but it wasn't a Garmin, it was something else. Or maybe it may have been a, oops, may have been a Garmin and um, just an older, less capable system, or not well implemented in the simulation. Okay, we're starting to level off. Starting to speed up, keep an eye on the speed and adjust the throttle as needed. We might actually be able to go a little faster, but I'll, I'll wait till it stops climbing.
really beautiful flying through the clouds. I'm going to keep pulling the throttle back a bit. We're still pushing up against that speed limit. Pull it back to, I don't know, 45% maybe. Looks really pretty seeing it go in and out of the clouds. Okay, complete whiteout, but those don't usually last long. I guess you'd call it a gray out. I did want to go inside the Garmin, look at the Garmin cockpit and get an idea of where the mountains are in relation to us. Uh, the game recommended a flying level of 20,000 feet, but I went with 8,000. I went and looked at a flight plan at some site. I can't remember the name now, but one of the online flight planning sites, and it recommended 8,000, so that's what I went with. Sounds like we transitioned between flight centers. Might as well go back outside for a while. Kind of love that lens flare look. going to switch to the drone and reset it because I don't know where it is in relation. Kind of fun playing with the drone. I haven't been playing with it much because they didn't let you change the speed. Maybe I should see if that's been fixed. Haven't checked since the most recent update. Uh, that would be camera. Showcase. Okay, it should go whipping by really fast. Oh, okay, I guess I did fix it. 
wow. Uh, not only did they fix it, but it's quite a bit faster um, than it used to be. <laughs> uh, now I also have set the speed onto some buttons on my Hotess, and I don't see it changing anything. It's supposed to change the drone speed. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, I touched the throttle, so I'm going to just check our airspeed really quick. Yeah, we're okay. I can go up, maybe go to ha halfway point. Yeah, let's reset the drone again, and let me find a reasonable speed to move around with. Wrong panel. Okay, so 100% was too fast. Let's try 50%. If I want to do the cinematic stuff, it's probably going to have to be s much slower. I can still slow it down with the joystick. Okay, well, I'll take some getting used to, but at the 4% level, I think it was kind of cinematic. So it goes pretty fast. It's going quite fast, um, faster than I would expect, set to 4%. So I'll have to get used to that for those nice cinematic shots. Um, might also be that it's only going up and not being reset down. I noticed there was a setting for increasing the speed in the options, but not decreasing. So maybe behind the scenes it's competing, and we are at 50%. I did want to set this to like 4%. Okay, yeah, that's a more reasonable speed for that kind of stuff. Front, flying through all this gray kind of makes sense to fiddle around, I guess. There's not much else to see. Try to do some more of these cinematic shots of the airplane. A little bit of sun poke through there for a second. Okay, enough playing around with the drone. I'm gonna go back inside. I still think we're okay with the altitude, but as we get close, if it looks like it's getting close to our bottom, I will pick up the altitude. Notice an angle of attack meter here, that's kind of nice. Um, right here. I've got my settings set to ultra with some things down to high, and I've got my frame rate showing over here. Maybe I'll post those in the end credits showing what the settings are. But this is using a RTX 2080 Ti 4K, 60 frames a second. Obviously I'm not getting the full 60, but anything, hap uh, anything over 30 makes me happy. I'd like to see what the inside looks like. Maybe I can do that with the drone. I should be able to enter the geometry. I don't know if they've styled it on the inside. No, apparently they haven't. They didn't need to, I guess. It's funny that it's letting me actually see the pilots. 
twin brothers. I think they're the same same character. Yep. Kind of an interesting up up in your face shot there. Let's see if I can uh, maneuver. See the front panels. There we go. Part of the problem is that the airplane's moving around so much. But there they are. That's kind of fun. Too bad they didn't style the inside. But it's not necessary. I really wish you could get up and walk around, have passengers on board, etc. Interesting to see the landing gear stowed here. Interesting shot. So there's just not much to see. Um, pushing up against the speed limit, but we seem to be okay. Down, can't really see anything. Just hoping that I'm not going to hit a mountain. Looks like landmarks are waves below us still, so that's good. Okay, now we're starting to see something. Those were some nice shots. Let's reset the view inside and pull back. So I can't really do the math in my head as far as when I need to start descending. In a bit I think I might start slowing down just to get that done. I found some tips online for flying this plane, but nothing super definitive. And I feel like I really ought to find some kind of a quick and dirty online flight school course to get some of the math down. I don't think it's hard to figure out, just if I just need to know a few things. would really like to be able to just easily figure out when to descend by how much. I'm sure if I just sat down and thought about it, it's just simple geometry, trigonometry. Going to 125 decimal in KA50 tree. Seattle Center, KA50 tree, 8,000 feet. Okay, they do have this instrument view and this, you know, um, out the window view, but to me this is a better overview of everything. I still think we're okay in terms of mountains. I 
maybe I'll wait till we get past this mountain range and then start descending. This plane slows down very quickly, I found. It wasn't a problem to land the last time when I thought I was going too fast. It slowed down very quickly, so that was nice. Starting to be able to see a little bit more as the clouds break. Yeah, I guess we are pretty close to the mountains now. I think maybe I will set 8,000, I'm sorry, 9,500 as a new altitude. Give us some thrust. bit into the red and white zone there, but I think that's okay. See them below us. I think we're at a safe level above them. Minor barometer adjustment there. Again, I don't know what our clearance is overall with these mountains, and I can't really see them, but I feel like we're probably okay. I can't really tell from this, but it does look like they're below us, so I think we're, I think we're okay. Take a moment, look inside the cockpit a little bit. Beautiful cockpit, Garmin control pads all over the place. The plane has speed brakes, I'll have to learn how to use those. I haven't needed them so far, but on a short runway they might be essential. Or maybe I'm supposed to use them every time I land. Okay, I'll go ahead and reset this view. I wonder if that's ice on the windshield. It kind of looks like it. I'll turn on de-icing. does look like ice, but not too much. If I look out here... Yeah, maybe it's just a little bit of ice slush around the edges, but doesn't look like anything major going on. Like that beefy underbody there. I guess that's the um, giant fuel tank and everything else. I'm going to start pulling back to our speed now. I still think we're okay with those mountains, but I do want to start dropping speed. A lot of altitude to drop as well. Once I get past this ridge, I'm gonna 
make kind of a steep drop. Now it's interesting, it says... Oh, that's, that's when I approach at 7,000 feet, okay. So I guess that'll be my target, would be it's like 7,500. I'll go ahead and dial that in now. And engage when ready. I use the Logitech panel and just turning altitude autopilot off and back on will have it pick up the new setting. I can also set a vertical speed and if I do that I can get a nice comfortable uh, descent. So I'll give that a shot. I'm going to go ahead and engage that. I set a minus 800 vertical descent speed and that's what we're going. See where that gets us. I do need to figure out how to do the math though. It can't be that hard. It's just simple algebra and geometry and whatever. My goal with this learning to fly tour has been to just learn by the seat of my pants. Just learn by doing. Just pull the throttle back. And that's really how I've learned everything in my life, is by doing, exploring, trying things. So for me, that's, that's the way I learn. But occasionally you have to supplement with some technical info and some knowledge you don't know you know you need. I didn't know how to use the autopilot until I watched one of Squirrel's videos that showed how to use it and how to deal with the throttle, especially. So we're going at this nice, even descent rate. Be comfortable to passengers if we had any, I think. I'm going to drop the throttle some more. I want to see if I can get us down to more like 250 knots. Okay, looks like we're reaching altitude. Bring the throttle back up a bit.
feels like we're pretty close to the mountains here. I still think we might be okay, but I'm going to look at the Garmin and see. No, I think we're passing the problem spot. I think we'll be okay very shortly, so I'm not going to worry about it. Look down. And we are pretty close. It's having trouble maintaining a frame rate over 30. But this should be the end of the mountains. I'll have to do some experimenting. I think it's a volumetric clouds. So those really cut down on your frame rate. But I, I like the realistic, foggy, dense, particle-like clouds. I'm going to continue to slow down a bit more. Maybe I'm slowing down too early, but I'm trying to make things easy. Soon I will contact the tower and get the landing pattern going. Beautiful. The plane itself is really a pretty plane. I'd like to know more about what those winglets actually do, but I'm sure they make things more stable. The plane just seems very bird-like. It seems like it has a head and a beak. And the swept back wings look very natural, very organic. Okay, so I'm convinced we're fine in terms of the mountains now. I think those are behind us. I don't know if I can see them or not. Not really. So just a little bit more to go and then we'll be able to land. I think I'm going a little bit on the slow side, so I'm going to bring it up. I should probably keep it at 200. Alright, I'll go ahead and contact the tower now. Okay, LMT is what I'm looking for. Kingsley Tower KA50 tree is 35 miles northwest 7,500 feet with Quebec to land. KA50 tree Kingsley Tower. Altimeter 29 er decimal 9 er 2 wing 149 er at 4. Fly straight in runway 14. Fly straight in runway 14KA50 tree. Okay, we'll be there really shortly. I'm going to disengage autopilot now. And I'm going to put down the flaps part way just to get our speed down. gain too much altitude. Looks like we actually went 6400 feet. So 
so I need to go down a bit. I'm gonna pull the throttle back just a bit. Nose down, get down to around 6,500 feet. Can't really see much of the pretty area. I'll have to fly again here sometime when the weather's nicer. I do prefer to use real-time weather so I experience a random variety of weather effects. Okay, we're approaching our new altitude of 6500. I'm gonna start nosing up a bit. I would still like to be going slower, so let's pull back on the throttle. probably supposed to be going, in general, slower when I get closer to the airport like this. pull up, get our speed down, we'll get at our target altitude. Try to keep the airport in sight. Going a little on the slow side, so let's bring that up. Starting to be able to see some things now as it gets later in the day. So we'll just stay in this mode here for a while until we get there. Dropping a little bit much. Let me uh, <coughs> nose up a bit here. A little bit of uh, major game lag there, but that's normal. just spectacularly beautiful, I think. I'm going to hold this for a bit, see if I can get a really nice thumbnail shot out of it or something. Okay, there's our landing pattern. We'll need to be a little higher. Time to go inside and deal with this in here. I'm going to throttle up. We're going to head up to that. Just pop my head up a little bit here. I think I see kind of a rainbow. Oh, I guess that's not a rainbow. I guess those are just color bands in the clouds or something. Okay, now we're going the speed it wants us to go. I'm dropping speed a little bit. I'm going to push up on the throttle, because we're uh, also ascending. So I thought I needed to be at 6300. It looks like I need to be much higher to get into the landing pattern. I think the 6300 is the ground level. So I'd want to go 2,500 above that. A little more throttle. I 
Okay, now I feel like our altitude is okay, so we can pull back on the throttle. Try to head a little bit more towards the center. It wants me to go 165 or slower once I'm in there. Okay, we're a little on the high side, so let's bring it down. Pull the throttle back. I head down into the pattern here. Looks like it's going to just be straight into the runway, that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down a bit more. And the landing gear, sure, why not. Yeah, we're going awfully fast, but once I nose up, speed down. I can put the flaps down some more if need be. Probably do need to. Okay, we're slowing down nicely. Now I just need to keep a steady eye on the airspeed because we're going to have a tendency to want to drop out of the air with the flaps down like that without some additional thrust. Alright, we've got landing clearance. Land see a nice big easily visible runway straight ahead. slow side, so let's give it some more throttle. And I don't want to lose any altitude at this point, other than the descent we're doing. I still feel like the speed's a little on the slow side. Let's bring it up just a tad, up to like 140. speed from our descent, so I'm going to pull back on the throttle. I'm going to want to land at like 130, 125, something like that. Looks like there might be somebody on the runway. That's okay. Throttle down. Flap, flaps are all the way down. Running a little off course here. Losing a little bit of control authority. Let's give it some more thrust. I'm too a little too low. Go around. Okay. Flaps up. Flaps up some more. I'll leave them partially down. Going a bit fast, but it's giving us the go around pattern, which is helpful. Generic four Lima Fox turn next taxiway. I guess they're not getting off the runway is the problem. A 
Although that looks like it's real traffic, not a player, so... Um, I shouldn't be stopped from landing because something imaginary is there. I'm going to put the flaps back down, get our speed back down to where it needs to be. having trouble sometimes with nice smooth action on the rudder. <coughs> Excuse me. If I'm told to go around again, I might just land because this come on this is a video game. Okay, I'm going way too fast. Let's bring the throttle back. Also too high, so I need to bring it back quite a bit. And nose down. So we'll just make our way around and try again. Speed is okay at the moment. Generic four Lima Foxtrot exit runway when able. They're still not exiting the runway. Could just be a data error or something. I suppose as a pilot you have to run into the situation of having to go around multiple times, waiting for people to get off the runway. I don't know what you're supposed to do if you're running out of fuel, I guess you divert, change runways, something. I'm just going to drop speed a little bit. We're still okay. I think 185 or lower, we're okay. Flaps are down all the way. Um, I should be able to tell though from here. I think. Can't really tell. Clear to land runway one four K A five zero tree. I don't know how realistic a view that is, but I need to be able to see more. Uh, I think I'll zoom in just a tad. Okay. And we'll need to make this sharp U-turn. Thrust up a little bit. Perhaps a little bit of extra energy available for this turn if needed. Stalling. I guess the sharp turn would lead to a stall, or maybe it's too sharp of a turn. Okay, I'm a little high. Let's get down. Let's get the speed down. 
my legs are cramping up a little bit on the rotor pedals. Okay, we're too high and too fast. Throttle down, nose down. Flaps are down as far as I can go, I believe. And we're still going way too fast. Okay, I'm going to engines idle. Let's see if we can do this. And the plane does slow down very quickly, so maybe we'll be okay. Whoa! Yeah, I think that's throttle. Bad throttle handling. Still getting used to the plane. Doesn't like those turns. Alright, trying to get a grip on the situation here. I think if I just head towards the center, I give it a little bit more thrust. I can always just go around and try again if I want to. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, at this point we're gliding in. Ears down. Little off course. Whoa. Just not not used to this plane. So I'm going to go around again. Engine's complaining a little bit about the torque, but that's okay. Needed to get back off the ground. Okay, we'll try that again. I'm so probably probably supposed to signal them that I'm going around, but I think I'm still cleared. I'm not going to worry about it. So I think the problem last time was overcorrecting, maybe, and I've got to be a little bit more gentle with the throttle, I mean the, the rudder, maybe both. Okay, I'm going to pull back the throttle now and try to get our speed down. My legs are cramping up for some reason. That wouldn't be a good thing to happen while you're trying to land an airplane. Turn gently. Yeah, I'm definitely going too fast. I'm going to pull the throttle back. Turn feels okay this time. Using the stick rudder instead of the pedal rudders. It's going way too fast though. I need to pull that back. Make sure the flaps are all the way down, also. Some more thrust, try to keep it more around 160 if I can. Okay, that said that's too fast. I uh, probably said it's too slow actually. But it's 
nice gentle turn. Feel good about that. push up against the limit on the engines with these flaps all the way down. Okay, pull back on the throttle a bit. Seems to be a nice stable speed at the moment. So we'll make this last turn successfully and then start dethrottling, try to head down to 140. It's not our final turn. I thought it was for a minute. So I'll give it some more thrust and we'll get centered and f flattened out again. time it beeps it's because I'm pushing the engines too far. I'm going to bring the flaps up one. And throttle down. Throttle down some more. We need to get the speed down. Throttle down some more. Try to make this turn without too much craziness. Too fast, yep, it's okay. We will slow down. Flaps all the way down. have to nose down because it's trying to push us up in the air again. Okay, if we can keep a stable speed around 140, I think we'll be okay to land. Let me give it some more throttle. Okay, 
throttle a bit. Okay, I'm going to go to idle on the throttle. And we'll just glide in here. There might be a little off-center, might be a little short. Pulling up, trying to flare. Alright, there we go. Wheels on the ground. I don't think that was too bad. As soon as I brake successfully, I will find my way off the runway. Flaps up. Come up here and put on the parking brake. Let them know we're clear. Kingsley Ground, KA503 taxi to parking. KA503 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Alpha. All right, taxi there we go. to General Aviation Parking by Taxiway Alpha KA 503. Parking brake off. There we go. Parking brake off. See how long we can go on that initial thrust from the engines. Beautiful Oregon, Klamath Falls. I don't think I've been here in person. I probably passed through. Looks like we have a little bit to go here and then we'll be able to park. Looks like there's people in the way, but they won't get hurt. They're standing right in the way where I'm supposed to go anyway. Plus a truck. Nice, the plane will just slice through. Excellent. Okay, looks like I'm parked. Let's engage the parking brake. Go back inside. Shut the engines down. Seem to shut down pretty quickly. Look around out here a little bit. Oregon's a really beautiful place, the cleanest air I've ever inhaled. There must be a generator. Yep, I can hear it running. Okay, I think the engines are off. Let's go ahead and shut the plane off. I hear something 
going, but let's give that a shot. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.